we can react to the, uh, propanoic acid with ethanol so uh, with methanol so uh, methanol over here and uh, when we do this reaction we get the same ester methyl propanoate so why carry out the reaction with acyl chlorides if we are getting the same ester with uh, with the carboxylic acid so the reason for this is that this reaction is reversible first of all it does not go to completion and the second reason is that uh, we have to use a concentrated h2 we have to use concentrated h2so4 as a catalyst and we also need to use a high temperature so as conditions for this reaction to take place so this reaction is very slow without without the catalyst and the temperature and uh, we this it's also reversible it does not go to completion but with the acyl chlorides we have eliminated all those problem all those problems because uh, the acyl chloride reacts much faster uh, it does not really require any conditions because it is very reactive itself so it does not require any conditions and it reacts much faster and the reaction goes to completion so it's better to form esters with acyl chlorides than carboxylic acids so first we can we can convert the carboxylic acid into the ester and then we can into the acyl chloride sorry we can convert the carboxylic acid into the acyl chloride and then we can react the acyl chloride with the alcohol to form the ester and uh, as i said i will be covering more about esters in the video i do on alcohols esters and carboxylic acids for the as level curriculum but for now this is what you need to know and the other difference uh, what we should know is that the side product when we react the alcohol with the carboxylic acid the side product formed is water but when we react the alcohol with the acyl chloride the side product is hcl so you should be aware of this too because obviously we have cl instead of oh over here so now let's move on to the next reaction reaction of acyl chlorides with phenol now uh, as we know pheno in phenol we have an oh attached to a benzene ring and we know how unreactive benzene can be so because benzene is so unreactive phenol is also unreactive compared to other alcohols and as phenol is more reactive uh, less reactive compared to other alcohols as it is less reactive compared to other alcohols we have <coughs> i'm sorry we have no reaction between phenol and a carboxylic acid so if we want to form an ester in which we have a, phen a, a phenolic ester uh, which has a phenyl uh, for example this is phenyl phenyl propanoate so if we want a phenolic ester then we will have to react it with an acyl chloride because uh, it will not react uh, phenol will not react with a carboxylic acid so and we know that acyl chlorides are much more reactive uh, than carboxylic acids so the reaction takes place the only thing that we need to do is first convert phenol to uh, a phenoxide ion phenoxide salt so in this case we react it with naoh to form sodium phenoxide we will always react it with naoh to form sodium phenoxide first and then when we have formed sodium phenoxide we will add uh, the acyl chloride to the reaction mixture and esterification will take place and we will get uh the ester we will get a phenolic ester so this is phenyl propanoate and we got a phenolic ester so remember whenever we have to form an ester using of uh, using phenol we will always first react it with naoh and then we will react it with an acyl chloride and how can we produce the acyl chloride we can react the carboxylic acid that we were initially going to use with pcl5 we will get the acyl chloride from that reaction and then we can add that acyl chloride to the uh, phenox to sodium phenoxide to form our ester and as a side product we will get nacl which is sodium chloride common salt and reaction of acyl chlorides with amines so we saw that when acyl chlorides react with ammonia we get amides 
and when it when they react with amines we also get amides but these are substituted amides and we will be doing uh, uh,